Hey guys, it's Di, and I am starting a new series here on Being Mommy with Style. And this is going to be for the month of September, and it is all questions to do with being a stay-at-home mom. A stay-at-home mom September is going to have different ideas that I've had for videos for quite some time, and I wanted to go ahead and get those posted up for you guys. And general things that are important to stay-at-home moms, like our schedule throughout the day, cleaning schedules, getting the kids out to activities, getting mommy time, all those sorts of things I've been wanting to do videos on, and I thought September would be a great time since it's back to school for the kids that are going to school and then also for stay-at-home moms we can kind of use this month to refocus and refresh and kind of get going on our fall schedule as well so the topic I'm going to do today is our baby schedule around the house and I do have a toddler and infant at home and schedules probably aren't for everyone but I have found that ever since Bella was just a tiny baby we got into a routine and found our own schedule and it really really helped us progress through the day. It helped her know what was coming throughout the day and it also helped me kind of move from one event to the next and just was a nice smooth transition. It's also really nice when you're wanting to build in times specific for learning times, coloring times, different learning activities like reading. You can schedule in times throughout your day and it's kind of nice because you know that you'll get that worked into your day. So I thought I would try to, down in the description, I'll try to with Google Documents or something like that post up our schedule in uh, paper form. But just to take you through our schedule pretty quickly, we usually start out our day around 7 a.m. or 7.30 in the morning and at that time both of the girls get up. And I have a two-stage schedule that I'll post online and it shows the infant schedule versus the toddler schedule. So this may be slightly confusing um, because I'll be talking about both of them at one time but hopefully you can kind of follow along on the schedule that I'll post down in the description if you're interested in just the baby schedule versus a toddler schedule um, but generally our day starts around 7 a.m. and we do flexible scheduling so that means you know generally we do what the activity is on our schedule within about 30 minutes of that time either before or after and if we're not doing it exactly at that time it's not the end of the world but it does kind of help us keep our day progressing and so the first thing that we do is we wake up and we, for Bella, change clothes, change diaper, brush teeth, and then go get Sissy up, change clothes, change diaper, and then I brush out her teeth with the little um, foam toothbrush. We go downstairs and we have breakfast, and then from the breakfast table, we usually end up going to playtime somewhere around... 8.15, 8.30, we're playing in the downstairs family room area. After we have playtime for about 45 minutes, the next kind of keystone in our schedule is 9 a.m. 9 a.m. is nap time for infants or room time for toddlers. So Natalie goes down for her first nap at 9 a.m. and Bella goes to her room for independent playtime. And we did kind of progress up to the length of time that Bella could stay in her room. And I'll do a separate video on independent playtime because it's, I think, kind of something specific for people that are into like baby wise schedules and that sort of thing. Um, so I can kind of go over like the concepts of that in a different video. But at 9 a.m. we go do to room time and um, Bella is typically able to be in there for 30 to 45 minutes. Some days when she's in extreme toddler tude, um, the room gets totally, you know, trampled and messed up. But generally most days um, she's able to go in there, read books, play with toys, and it's just a nice independent playtime for her. After her independent playtime, she goes to the upstairs playroom to play, and Natalie's still napping at that point. So we have another scheduled playtime and reading time upstairs, and that generally lasts from about 10 to 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock is our lunch time, and we generally start moving downstairs around that time. Natalie's usually waking up from her nap, and we go downstairs, Natalie has her next bottle, and Bella has lunch. Our eating times are actually pretty long at our house. It takes Bella a long time to eat, and even when I kind of try to keep her going, she takes a while to eat, and I know that. So if we're starting lunch at 11, realistically, we're probably not done until 11.30, or if it didn't get on the table right at 11, 11.45. So eating times do take up a big block of our day, um, but I do, because Bella is so tall and thin, I like to give her an opportunity to eat as much as possible, 
So that's why at this point I do kind of let her graze for a little bit while she's sitting in her seat buckled. You know, if it takes her an extra 10 minutes to eat, then that's fine because as many calories as I can get her and get in her right now, that is good. Um, after lunch, we have downstairs playtime, and both girls are downstairs for that. And then for a young toddler from about 18 months until just after two years old, noon was our typically scheduled nap time for Bella. Now that she's a little bit older, she's almost two and a half, that nap time seems to be moving back just a little bit um, to closer to about 12.30, and uh, she's seeming to take seeming to take a longer nap and kind of a better nap if it's a little bit later in the afternoon. So I'd say a toddler nap somewhere around in between 12 and 1, you know, 12, 30, 1 o'clock is when her toddler nap starts. Then Natalie has her own little um, independent playtime and also some mommy time in there. And she goes down for her next nap around 1 o'clock or 1.15. Usually before 1.30 she's ready to go down for a nap. So then I have a least usually a glorious hour <laughs> while the girls are taking a nap in the afternoons where I can make videos like this and that's also time I use to get ready to do things around the house to do cleaning and that sort of thing. Um, so nap time is um, you know a good time to get things done around the house for me. And then usually by 2.30 if it was the earlier nap time but now 3 o'clock is kind of seeming to be more the time um, if people are going down for naps later is the time where everyone's starting to wake up and we do snack and then I built in our time to go do errands like run to Target and that sort of thing after our snack time in the afternoon so later afternoon around 3 30 4 o'clock we are packing in the car up to head out to Target do whatever errands we need to run and then be back at the house by 5 o'clock to do dinner um, I get dinner started around 5 and we generally eat around 5.30, between 5.30 and 6 when daddy gets home and then we have family time for about the next 30 minutes and then we move on to Natalie's nap time, Natalie, or excuse me, Natalie's bedtime. She likes a very early bedtime and since she has been very small, she wants to go to bed at 6.30. So that's a little bit earlier than if I were to schedule it, but that's the time that Natalie seems to kind of hit her baby wall and she is ready to go upstairs, take a bath, and go to bed. Um, after I get done with hers, then Bella's bath time is at 7, and we complete her bath, and then she goes to bed. So you can see with our schedule, I mean, it's really kind of moving from one event to the next all day long. Um, I have scheduled color time, if I'm making dinner, I put Natalie in the high chair and I put Bella at her booster seat on the table and I let her color while I'm doing dinner, so that's usually around 5 o'clock. And then also, whenever Natalie is still asleep from her morning nap and Bella has um, come out of her independent playtime, we have a little bit of reading time there. Um, so that way she gets some in, some reading time with mommy in there as well. So that's our generally, general schedule and I will go ahead and post the paper form because I know it will make more sense to kind of look at it in written form. Hopefully down in the description um, I'm thinking like a Google document. I know that a lot of times when I'm on mommy forms and that sort of thing, schedule is kind of a hot topic so I wanted to share what our schedule was and if you have any questions feel free to uh, let me know. So this is the beginning of Stay at Home Mommy September. Please let me know if you have any stay at home mommy topics you'd like me to cover and I have the few that I mentioned and I'll also be talking about different things, everything from going from one to two children, um, just kind of any broad topic like that. Um, I'm planning on trying to do a vlog, not every day because that's too much editing, I can't quite get one out every day, but probably about every three days I'll try to get a video up. So thanks so much for watching, please let me know if you have any questions, have a great day.